Hi there Deep Notes and welcome to this Friday's video which is about a tweet that I saw. Is this look called a tweet? It's called X? An X message? X message? A tweet uh, on the platform X from Deeper Networks which was reposted by Eric Ma. Um, if you haven't already please like and subscribe and all that and click the little bell so you don't miss out on any other stuff. Um, I don't know how YouTubers say that all the time without getting boring. And this is the tweet which I saw. So the bi-monthly newsletter is now available and the link for that will be in the description below if you want to read it. And what the team have been working on. So the, the 1G Pico, uh, the game acceleration feature, the deeper GPT-4 upgrade and the ETH, Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain, chain deeper cross-chain bridge. Try saying that when you're drunk. So a few people did comment. Uh, one guy was very supportive. Um, they always put across that they've done a lot of stuff in the month and as part of their newsletters. There are a couple of guys that are a bit upset because the token price is really low. And I don't blame them. It is very, very low. However, those of us who understand the long-term plan of Deeper, that's not really a big deal for us. However, um, on the short term, a lot of people are quite upset. So I can understand that. Anywho, let's get to it. So this is the newsletter which was put out there and we're going to basically just work down the list and we're going to do like a header and then we're going to talk about what it means, uh, potentially what it could do for us. And these are just my personal opinions because I don't obviously work for Deeper Network. I just, I'm just a guy who does these, these uh, videos and I'm invested in it. So let's get to the first bits which are the technical updates for the hardware. So as you know that the Deep Connect Pico won't be able to do NPOW, uh, it doesn't have enough RAM, it's only got 512 megabits, uh, which isn't enough. However, by looking at this, they're increasing the memory to 1 gig, and it's going to be a new device, uh, all indicators tested in line with expectations and have been officially placed into mass production. So what they've basically done is they've released, they've changed the Pico, they've just updated it with 1 gig instead of 512 meg, and they're going to release that as a new device. Now, me personally, I can't see the point in that because you've got the Air. The Air can do NPOW. Um, it might be a little bit more expensive, but it's a much better device than what the P Pico is. Um, the only benefit of that would probably be if they allowed you to exchange your old Picos for the new ones, perhaps. Um, but I, from a, a money point of view, from profit, I, d I don't think they would allow that. But when NPOW does come in, will people just get rid of, because they might have like 10 P, P cores, 20 that are just mining for a D, DPR. Once that stops, these things aren't going to be really, there's going to be no point. So will, will they do an exchange program so that they don't lose the nodes? Because perhaps the P cores go in the bin or the trash and they lose nodes. Uh, Deeper are really into growing the network. That's their main drive at the minute. Um, to get as many nodes as they can. So when NPOW does come in, they have lots and lots of nodes. Um, it's weird. I'm not sure what they're going to do with, with uh, that. The Deep Connect Air completed the stability optimized version and a small batch trial production. I have the unboxing Deep Connect Air. Um, it's still running and it works extremely well. I'm really pleased with it. I have 20 coming and I think it's probably the best device Deeper have actually made. I'm not sure what the stability optimized version is because mine's run perfectly since and it's been plugged in forever since I've had it. So um, yeah, but well, whatever. Uh, the Indiegogo campaign, the deliveries are due to be sent out in October. So perhaps they're doing a final revision in time for that. And the DeepConnect Mini, so adapted to high performance Wi-Fi dongle, completed hardware debugging progress 60%. So, that means to me that they're making a brand new Wi-Fi dongle, which probably has a speed way higher than 100 me megabits. I mean, can you imagine if they put like a 300 megabit one for the Mini SE? Or a 1 gig one for the Mini? Or a 1 gig one for both? Um, that would basically eliminate the need to have the Mini in between your modem and a, a router. You could literally just have it, have all of your devices in your house connect to the Mini. So it would go to your, your, your all in one perhaps, and then straight to the mini and that's it. You'd just have the Wi-Fi wi, wi access. So you'd have two hotspots in your house, a unencrypted one 
and an encrypted one, but you wouldn't lose the speed. Because a lot of people have said, oh, you know, I have one one gigabit Wi uh, broad broadband, um, but because I'm using the the, the, the Wi-Fi dongle of the Mini, I'm only getting 70. All right. Um, yeah, this would eliminate a lot of that. So that is pretty cool. And that is new. Um, the Pico, there was, it was mentioned in the last AMA. It was a very, very quick one. Um, so I knew that was coming. Well, I wasn't sure if it was coming because I didn't see the point of it, but however it is actually coming. And the Wi-Fi uh, uh, adapter is brand new. I didn't know that was actually coming. All right, so now let's get on to the software development stuff. So 1.2.1 has been released. Uh, we've all got that. Backup tunnel feature development progress 70%. So I'm guessing that's going to be like a failover. So when one tunnel drops, it'll automatically switch to another one on the same kind of location. So it won't just use the kill switch and just knock you off. It will actually just skip down to the next one available. App relocator, cryptocurrency exchange module research data preparation progress. Um, not sure what that is. So cryptocurrency exchange module research. So they're going to add a module to the app relocator, perhaps where you might be able to swap one crypto for another one. Uh, so you might be able to swap DPR for BNB. Um, or is that perhaps was was sub wallet not actually the multi chain wallet that we were all promised? Is that still actually to come? Was sub wallet just like an extra one that we just got given? You know, like uh, a company just decided off their own back to add DPR to their own like wallet, and they said, "Oh, here's a new wallet," and we all assumed it was the multi chain one. But perhaps it's all coming still. Interesting. We'll have to wait and see. Um, app relocate a discount module. Not sure what that is. Maybe there'll be um, some some like dis discount codes. You know, when you want to buy something and you go on a uh, your search engine and you type in discount code for whatever and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and sometimes you get money off perhaps uh, game acceleration feature research I'm not sure what that is but i'm going to guess it's going to be some kind of custom encap encapsulation so when a data packet from say csgo is known it will put like an indicator in that packet so that it knows that's for csgo so it goes straight through so it might reduce the uh latency or the ping speed or the dropped uh packets you know who who knows Th this is all like see se secret stuff you know um and gui optimization progress six percent so that means they're gonna change the gui again and if the pico comes out with a one gig version that means they'll have more scope to change the gui so it looks really nice the GUI at the minute is really, really small because the Pico can't actually cope with it. Um, so if it had a gig, would it have like a better looking GUI? Who knows? I mean, I think it looks all right now, to be fair, but we'll have to wait and see on that as well. So how many of you have forgotten all about the DPN app? Um, it's kind of been in the back of my mind as well. And I always get these updates on my phone and it says, oh, they've just updated the DPN app. And I go on, I have a quick look. And um, from the very first, from so from when it actually first came on, um, it was pretty basic. It kind of worked, it kind of didn't. But when it did work, it was extremely quick. And as the months have gone by, if you haven't tried it recently, try it. It's literally a, a deeper device in your hand. It is insane. It is really, really good. The app relocate is on there. Um, the, the, the tunnels, the kill switch... The, the whole lot, it's all on there. The only thing it doesn't do is obviously mine and, um, you know, do do DEP. But um, a few updates have come through and automatically switch bad node feature uh, and fixed other bugs and UI. And that is the latest updates. And then you can see there all of the other stuff. So page load and bug issue, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's really, really good. They've done an amazing job at all of these things. And I did also see a tweet from Eric Ma as well. And he did say recently, like in the past couple of days, that the app is in its final test phase now. So fingers crossed it is going to eventually get to the app stores pretty quick. And they implement EZC pretty soon too. And we can get some burns going on. But this is all part of the bigger long-term plan. We need EZC to come in first before any deep 
DPR can get get burnt. So um, it's all just part of the long term journey. All right, so let's get on with the community news. A lot of you guys might know this already, but um, Eric might held a live voice AMA on Twitter Space. Was that recently? That must have been right at the beginning of July because I can't remember an AMA in the past two two months. Um, but yeah, I mean, okay, fine. Um, we also had uh, continue to share tips on the use of Deep Connect devices and the educate the community. So that is all basically the uh, Twitter posts where you have like a bold title saying what what are they doing with your data and how to use the DPN stuff like that. Um, shared deeper networks partic participation in the 2023 ha hackathon event. Yeah, um, that should hopefully brought a lot of uh, deep deep in and dep developers on board because obviously we want these dep uh, apps and dapps. Shared how to use deep connect devices to save money. Again, you know, polls on Twitter. Again, just tweets. Um, the air pre-launch giveaway campaign. Yeah, um, that was the competition where you had to share things, like share the posts and that and get points. Uh, Sub-wallet collaboration announcement. Users can store DPR in hot non-custodial wallets. I did a video on that. Uh, Sub-wallet, it's, it's okay. It looks nice and stuff, but it doesn't have... Uh, you, you can't export the de deeper chain DPR to BNB or buy Binance Smart Chain, which is the whole point. That's what we wanted to try and bypass the bridge however um yeah fine i'm sure that'll get work worked on and youtube channel support deep or not accessorize me i'm not going to read all these out i can't read half of them like uh mahedi shaquille tech with tim hardware sugar powder cert animated videos js uh, lando carl riz tech source Dio linux labs Giz China Italia, Jason Santos, Knitting, shared unboxing videos. Oh yeah, we all shared unboxing videos of the Duke Air. Yeah, great. All right, so on with the marketing. Um, this is important because obviously if you're invested in the project, you want to know that the company is growing and how they're reaching out and what they're doing to grow. Because um, that equates in more money for us. Um, the Amazon flagship store has been launched. More devices will launch soon. The Duke Connect Air has been sent out to collaborators, which is us. So they've placed massive bulk orders uh, for the purchase agreements for the UAE and other countries. The demand in the Middle East has increased significantly. Of course it will because Iran, you know. Um, and also you've got China and stuff like that as well. However, places, a lot of places in the Middle East do censor internet. Afghanistan, I didn't realise they did, but yes, they do too. But Iran is extremely controlled, so that's fine. People want to have their online free freedoms back uh the summer sale launched from there to there that's fine deep network attended the ltx exhibition i met with linus tech wow who agreed to make a non-sponsored review video for a deep connect device so i think linus tech the guy uh doesn't actually do that that channel anymore but the the, the linus tech channel is still going on it's a massive channel massive i mean the guy's a millionaire um so yeah that would be really really cool um hopefully that is going to be soon august uh prepared to launch the new egg flagship online store so that's another sales channel uh the air was officially launched on indiegogo reached a hundred thousand in a few hours yeah and that's still going on now collaboration with key customers to grow in the middle east and increasing demand from japan east asia and possible further collaboration with local agents. Media website collaborate with eight large scale technology and public websites, including Yahoo, Digital Trends, TechCrunch. That's pretty big. Um, a new version of the homepage was launched on August 19th. And back to school sale launched. Okay, yeah. Okay, and lastly, the community. So, those, that is the community at the minute. Twitter, massive online following. Uh, Facebook, quite a lot. You know, so. That's fine, whatever. All right, so now let's get on with the final thoughts. These monthly or bi bi monthly reviews, um, they always carry a lot of information that is really useful for us. And one thing, the big thing for, for us is Linus Tech Tips. Um, he hasn't done a video. I've actually just gone on while I've been doing this uh, video and checked, and he's got 15.4 million subs. I mean, that is crazy. So can you imagine if he did a review video 
and he liked the product and he said this is really good and then one percent of his subscribers bought it so if they all bought a deep connect air at one percent that would be 154,000 deep connect airs that would raise 15.4 million dollars for a deeper net network um that's based on a price of 100 bucks per air it's actually more, more than that now and let's say those 154,000 people stake 100,000 DPR so they can mine now I'm not saying that's going to happen but if they did that would be a purchase order of 15.4 billion D DPR off that 1% let's just say there's I don't know 1% of that 1% bought 100,000 DPR each that's like 154 million D DPR and that's from 1% of the 1% of his subs. That would be pretty cool. Fingers crossed he likes it, eh? <laughs> um, yeah, so as you can see from this uh, release, this bi-monthly statement thing, um, Deeper are trying. They, they are putting a lot of effort into branching out, growing, and getting the Web3 in, in, in infrastructure growing. Um, yeah, the DPR price sucks, but they're not going to get an investor to invest in them just so they can pump that money into the DPR price. So then we can all cash out and tank the price again. It doesn't make sense, and it's not—it's just—it's just not going to happen. Um, so we just need to let Deeper do do their thing and see how it goes. Um, but as you can see, they are doing a lot. They are trying really hard. They're working hard. They're doing devices. Um, they're doing the air. They're releasing the air. That's due to be dispatched next month. Hopefully there are no delays because that doesn't look good. Um, and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. I'll see you on Sunday for the weekly update. And don't get too down about the price. And please click the like and subscribe and the bell and all that. And I will see you on Sunday. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.